Tonight, Jacksonville City Council might continue cracking down on internet cafes. So you might be wondering why these establishments are still operating. Well, many of them operate by offering games of skill, such as some card games, rather than games of pure chance, such as slot machines. Yeah, a lot of people wonder about this. The state shut down most of these stores working as fronts for illegal gambling in 2013. But opponents say they popped back up using a loophole, and now a city council member wants to shut them down for good. On your side, Troy Class has details for us. That's right, Jessica. Many people have shown up recently wearing shirts that say save our jobs, Jacksonville, save our arcades. That's in opposition to this amendment in which it was written that the danger to the public and to the first responders that are responding to these calls for service at these Internet cafes, they say that the danger there is too severe. Last month, a security guard was shot and killed at the High Score Arcade. On Tuesday, there are cars parked outside. It appears to be business as usual. Thomas Dale says he tries to stay away from the crime in his neighborhood. I'll tell you the truth, I just stay out of everybody's way, and there's a lot of crime in the neighborhood. I see it around, I go the other way. Dale lives three blocks away from the adult arcade. Arcades, which can be seen around Jacksonville. City Council member Leanna Cumber submitted a bill saying there's a legitimate public purpose in eliminating all internet cafes in Jacksonville, saying they pose an ongoing hazard to public safety and health. We reached out to Cumber for comment about why the bill was submitted and we're waiting to hear from her. If it became a law, internet cafes that operate within and outside the law would be shut down. Dale thinks crime would continue whether the cafes are open or not. Well, the police are doing their job, but God bless them, they're doing what they got to do, and things have got to get better. Now, if the bill becomes law, the owners could be subject to a code enforcement violation. We'll keep you updated on the latest once we learn more. Live at City Hall, Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.